Now Orlando, Generative AI has uh, burst into the boardroom. How are you guys thinking about leveraging Generative AI in the customer experience area? We are definitely exploring conversational AI and how can Generative AI improve not only the experience of the end user, but also in the back end, the design of the conversational flows and, and bring some efficiencies there. Um, but one of the areas probably that I'm the most excited is how is that going to affect our knowledge transfer? How is Gen AI going to translate what we have in thousands of printed or PDF manuals that are somewhere into putting that information in, in the tip of our agents, right? As, as they are engaging with people. How can Gen AI look into the millions of conversations and interactions we have every year and drive from there more knowledge so that we can have more knowledgeable agents. I think that that's going to be really impactful because it's going to reduce our average transaction time. It's going to increase transactions per hour for our agents. And if we can bring 20% efficiency just in better managing our calls and then that knowledge we can transfer into our conversational AI engine it's going to be very powerful. Excellent. I think uh, you know that's exactly what we see as well among our other customers. They are using generative AI to actually enable the humans to deliver that experience that is expected of them and also make the conversation far more richer. Yeah, that's great. And one thing I, I haven't seen, and, and I, I have to admit, I get five to 10 LinkedIn messages with different things every week about how Gen AI will replace customer support agents. I can tell you, I don't see that anywhere close in the future. I, I think that Gen AI will be a powerful tool, but not an, an end meet or an end goal. I, I think that we're gonna have much better customer support agents powered by AI sooner than the AI replacing them.